Hey, it's Dave from RetroInjection.com. Uh, I wanted to show you my Neo Geo collection today. Um, I've done a few articles on Neo Geo games over the course of the last few years and never really showed what I've got personally in my Neo Geo collection. Uh, so first up, we've got Ghost Lop here. Uh, that's actually running uh, right over here on my big red. Uh, that's Ghost Lop. And this is my Goldie, uh, which is running right now Wind Jammers and Bust a Move. Uh, so you can just press the button there and it'll switch over to the other game. Uh, these are both MVS cabinets, they're original cabinets. Uh, I picked up the Neo Geo Goldie, believe it or not, for $25 from a recycling center. Needed a new monitor, but uh, we got that taken care of. And uh, this is uh, my big red here, currently running uh, Ghost Lop. And uh, right now it's running Nightmare in the Dark on the other slot. I don't have a marquee for that particular title. Uh, but those are the games that are running on that now. So uh, also besides uh, Ghost Lop and Bust a Move, uh, we've got um, Bust a Move again, Wind Jammers, uh, which is a great sports title from Data East, League Bowling, Super Sidekicks 2, Baseball Stars Professional, and uh, I've got Metal Slug and Neo Turf Masters side by side here because those are the games that were done by Nazca before SMK bought them up. Metal Slug X, which is one of my favorites in the series. Shock Trooper Second Squad, Cross Swords. Uh, we've got Samurai Showdown, the sequels uh, one and two. Now I do have, uh, I do have uh, four on um, CD. Those are my four Samurai Showdown titles. I do not have the uh, last two of that series. Uh, the World Heroes games here, that's half the series. Burning Fight. Get into the Fatal Furies here. Um, now I do have uh, Fatal Fury 1 and 2 on the home cart, uh, but there's Special 3 in Real Belt. And I've got Real Belt 2 on CD. Uh, and then the King of Fighters 94, the King of Fighters 96, and the King of Fighters 98 here. Uh, I do have uh, King of Fighters 97 and 2003 on home cart. So that's half the series of King of Fighters. Uh, not that much of a purist on getting every single one of those. They're the ones I really like. I have some strong sentimental ties to those games. And I uh, do have the multi-cart uh, 161 there for titles that, uh, you know, I don't have at the moment, but may get in the future. My Neo CD, it's a front loader. It's a Japanese system and uh, kind of at a weird time, so it's kind of just kind of uh, hanging out here for the time being. Okay, so we're going to go through the Neo CD titles that I have now. Uh, this is The Last Blade. This is, uh, I actually bought this in Tokyo, uh, so that's really special to me. Uh, if you have a legitimate Neo Geo CD game, they have a little embossed Neo Geo CD, little, little Neo Geo Happy Face logo there. I don't know if you can really make it out on that. The light has to hit it just right. Now, just because it doesn't have that on your particular game doesn't mean that it's a bootleg or anything. Sometimes these just broke over the years and people swapped them out for regular jewel cases. But um, ideally, it would have that little Neo Geo logo there. I hope you can see that. This is another game that I picked up in Tokyo from the same shop. Uh, this is the Samurai Showdown 4 I was telling you about a second ago. This is a game I used to play at Time Out back in the day. So that's, uh, that's Samurai Showdown 4. Now, if you were really lucky, your games will actually have the spine card, which is called the Obi. Uh, that is not an, uh, a complete copy of any given game, technically, if you really want to get particular, unless you have the spine card, which would have originally wrapped around the front here and just gave it a little bit more panache when it was on the store shelf. Viewpoint here, that's uh, another great shooter on the, on the Neo CD. This system has a bad reputation for load times uh, being really terrible, but they're not really that bad. If you get uh, games that are under 100 megs, they'll load right off the bat. This is a newer release, Xeno Crisis. This was put out by Bitmap. Did a great job with, uh, with Xeno Crisis, even giving it the, the OB very much in the spirit of how they would have been originally, and even kind of uh, giving a nod to the uh, Happy Face logo there. Fatal Fury 3, that's, uh, that's kind of a bad load time game. Final Romance 2, that was one of the few uh, Neo Geo CD exclusive titles. Ninja Ka Commando here, uh, this is uh, one of my favorite games of all time. It's actually a time traveling shooter uh, that uh, ADK put out. That's uh, one of my most prize Neo CD games that loads right up and plays just like the MVS. 
Uh, here's Real Bout 2, The Newcomers, and uh, that is uh, a really solid Fatal Fury game, and uh, really enjoy playing that on the uh, on the CD. This was, uh, they made some um, reproductions of this in later years, fairly recently, but this is an original. Mutation Nation, one of my all-time favorite beat-em-ups on the Neo. Um, I really like this title. It's kind of like a Final Fight-ish but uh, you know they're you're fighting mutants, so how can you go wrong with that? King of the Monsters two here, um, not as good as the first one by any stretch of the imagination, in my opinion. But uh, you know, every now and then I'll still bust this out. I used to have the original on MVS, and uh, I wish I had not sold that. And uh, then you got Bang Bang Busters here, and uh, Bang Bang Busters was a prototype game that was originally supposed to come out uh, in 2000 uh, for the MVS, but just never did. And uh, in 2010, uh, NCI, Neo Conception International, released this um, as, a, um, as an official release, one of their only, if not their only official release. They've done some really high-end bootlegs uh, since then, but this was an officially sanctioned title from Visco. Uh, so those are my Neo CD games. This is my Neo Geo home cartridge system. This is a Japanese unit, which means that it plays the games in their full uncensored glory with the red blood and the adult themes and some games, most notably the King of Fighters franchise. This is one of the last systems that was produced uh, of, this, of this model by SNK. You can see the uh, the serial number on this is 332,974. And uh, this was uh, produced right around 1996. Anything in the 330 bracket was pretty much the end of the line for the home cart system. These are my controllers here. Uh, these are actually the same controllers uh, that uh, work with the Neo Geo CD. The Neo CD would have come packaged with uh, the clicky stick pad controller. Uh, these are um, the only controllers that I have. I use the same controllers for both systems. And technically, you could plug these in to the MVS motherboard uh, and play games on that uh, arcade system with the home controllers. I do want to say uh, that this is a fully unmodified system. This does not have uh, any of the modifications uh, for AV or anything. You can see it's just running the standard RCA jacks. Uh, it's not uh, equipped with uh, Unibios or anything like that. Prior to this, I did have a system that was modified uh, for stereo, uh, but it was not really very well done and I did sell that for what it was. I got it from a website that wasn't super reputable. I didn't know that at the time. It's not even around anymore, uh, but uh, I bought this and never looked back. Uh, I do have a little Decepticon sticker on here. Um, I don't know if you noticed it before, but my Neo CD has an Autobot sticker on it. I call the Neo CD Ironhide, and I call this Skywarp. So maybe that's a little TMI, but there you go. All right, we're gonna get into some of my most prized possessions now. These are my Neo Geo home cartridges. NAM 1975, that was uh, the very first game released on the system and still holds up to this day. It's kind of like a cabal shooter. Uh, we've got Riding Hero, another one of the first six US release games. Thrash Rally is a really fun top-down race game. Some people give it kind of grief and call it Trash Rally, but I really like it. Um, this is Dunk Dream, also released as Street Hoop and Street Slam, uh, depending on the region. And uh, contrary to what you might think, the region is actually dependent on your system. It has nothing to do with the artwork uh, for, the, for the game at all. 2020 Super Baseball there uh, next to it is uh, Baseball Stars 2, which is one of the best games ever, in my opinion. So between those and Baseball Stars Professional, um, the MVS, I do have every baseball game on the Neo. And then we have um, Big Tournament Golf, aka Neo Turf Masters, again, depending on region. This is, uh, this is the Japanese game, obviously, so this is Big Tournament Golf. Uh, that is one of the most 
in-depth golf games ever. Actually makes Golden Tee look bad. Blue's Journey is a fun uh, platformer. Very colorful. Still looks great. Samurai Showdown 2, of course, one of the best games ever. Then we get into the King of Fighters. Uh, you see I do have some duplicates between different systems. Uh, I have King of Fighters 94 and MVS as well. And uh, then we have uh, 97 and 2003. Uh, bought 2003 brand new uh, from the Neo store back in 2004. Uh, Samurai Showdown 2 was also a game that I got. My mom actually bought it for me. Uh, new sealed uh, for Christmas one year. That's a common game to find new and sealed to this day. Uh, then we get into uh, Fatal Fury, which has some of the worst artwork of all time for the U.S. version, but uh, that's just a sign of the times. Fatal Fury 2 there, and then hot on the heels of that was Fatal Fury Special. Uh, then we have The Art of Fightings, uh, Art of Fighting 1 and 2. Uh, those are, uh, well, 2 is really way too difficult, in my honest opinion, but uh, I do like 1 and 3 quite a bit. 3CC Chaos, another game I bought brand new. Uh, from the Neo store back in 2003. Twinkle Star Sprites, that is a really fun competitive shooter that looks like it was designed by Lisa Frank, but it's a very intense game. A lot of fun with two players. Uh, Ghost Pilots, uh, that's, a, that's a great top-down shooter. And then I have Joy Joy Kid here, uh, which was the very next game released. Uh, you can see the NGH numbers there, 2021. Uh, one of the few sequential uh, releases that I have, Joy Joy Kid's like kind of like a Tetris knockoff, but it's like a B-type Tetris with bombs. It's really interesting. You got to get a little balloon, uh, like a hot air balloon, uh, from the bottom of the screen to the top. It's, uh, it's a fun game. It really is. I should also mention that Ghost Pilots was another one of the games that I was able to get new old stock. Uh, so it's really cool to, uh, to play a game for the first time after it's sat in a warehouse somewhere for decades. And Bust a Move again, that has Magician Lord inside. That was another one of the release games uh, for the system. And then we have the completely loose cartridges over here, League Bowling and ASO2 Last Guardian, which was released in the U.S. as Alpha Mission 2. And you can see on League Bowling, uh, this has the, uh, the link cable at the top. You can, the link jack at the top there, you can plug in, uh, you can plug in another cartridge and another system and another TV, and you could have a four player bowling match. Not a lot of games had that. Thrash Rally did, and um, Riding Hero did, and League Bowling. So yeah, there's another complete for my collection. I've got all the, uh, all the multi-link games. Not a huge claim to fame, but I'll take it. So that is my Neo Geo collection for the home cart. And, uh, as I say, it might not, well, if you take it at the right angle, it looks like quite a bit. <laughs> but uh, that is uh, that is definitely um, an adult lifetime's worth of collecting there for the Neo Home Cart. I wanted to go over my Neo Geo Pocket and Neo Geo Pocket color collection with you guys. Uh, this is my Neo Geo Pocket here. Uh, this is, uh, I bought this in 1999. I got it when it was a new release. That's super cool because there's two different intros to Match of the Millennium. Uh, widely regarded as one of the best games on the Neo Geo Pocket Color. Uh, also has a bunch of mini games on it. It's the original uh, SNK versus Capcom title. Here's the other intro. So that's, uh, that's the Neo Geo Pocket Color. Uh, bought that new back in the day uh, from Electronics Boutique. Before it was EB Games, before it was GameStop, it was Electronics Boutique. Um, the day that I got that, I got Samurai Showdown 2 with it. Uh, bought that with it. And I remember going to Friendly's afterwards and being super excited to have a Neo Geo system finally after I'd been a fan of the Neo for many years, uh, but uh, could never find one in the wild. And that was really before it was super easy to buy stuff online. 
uh, just to be able to have a retail location selling a Neo Geo product was, was incredible. So there's the box for Match of the Millennium there and uh, Metal Slug First Mission, which I am 99% sure my grandmother got me uh, for Christmas. And uh, my friend from China, whom I was going to college with, went home for a vacation. And uh, when he came back, he brought me this light magnifier. Uh, and I was shocked to see when I was doing this video that the batteries in this still work. Um, those have been in there for, oh, I guarantee you over 15 years. Uh, the quality on these has always been a little dubious. So then we have uh, Big Tournament Golf here and uh, King of Fighters R1. And these are the Japanese releases. This is actually for the original Neo Geo Pocket. Uh, this is a, a game that is actually in black and white. This is a really solid title. It's a pocket version of King of Fighters 97. Uh, when you play it on the Neo Pocket Color, uh, there's um, an option to have it as, you know, different monochrome tones. You know, you could have like a red or a green or a sepia or whatever, but uh, it was uh, actually, actually a uh, black and white game. And that came out in 98. The Neo Geo Pocket was uh, fairly short-lived because the next year they brought out the Neo Geo Pocket Color. And uh, you can see... That was a huge upgrade uh, in terms of visuals. And uh, these were a much higher caliber case than uh, you had with the US releases. These actually had a snap lock case that was basically a scale replica of the home carts. So that's, uh, that's my Neo Pocket collection. Uh, I have not actually added to this collection in quite a few years, uh, but uh, this is uh, definitely something I'm never going to part with. It was um, my first Neo Geo system. Thank you so much for checking out my Neo Geo collection. I hope you enjoyed the video. You can check out the walkthrough of my home arcade by clicking on this video here. Be sure to take a look at RetroInjection.com for a great review of Fatal Theory the Motion Picture on VHS. My name is Dave from RetroInjection.com.